all your babies are. My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. Hi, right, what's going on, everybody? So, um, hope y'all uh, enjoyed the uh, rat rat. I mean, uh, rat rat room rat. Rat rat room rat. Rat rat, rat room rat. rat. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, show of progress on the uh, rodent facility. Um, again, I'm super super happy with how that's turning out. Uh, I think it's going to be real nice. But uh, I have not showed off. Um, very many snakes lately, so I do apologize about that. Uh, the season's kind of slowing down, so there's not as many to show off. But we're fixing to jump back to that right now with this crazy clutch. So what we have is an OD Ivory Pied to a Pastel Calico. So the OD Ivory Pied is um, a really unusual animal because it's hard to ID the Pied and the OD. It looks like an Ivory obviously but the od and the pod is a little hard to see so i'm going to get him out and show him to you first so for those people who don't really know what an od ivory pod is it's going to be a white snake y'all it's a white snake with a strike down the back see i'm learning took me three years but i'm learning <clears throat> so this is one of those good examples oh, oh he's feisty be. let's back it up a little bit that way in case he wants to get squirrely calm down so this is one of those good examples about knowing your genetics on your animal as a baby. So as a baby, you could obviously tell that this guy was OD uh, simply because he had a lot more orange on his head. Mm -hmm. And in the spots that were not pied, which you cannot see anymore, but there are several spots on his body that were just way more orange than what a normal ivory pied looks like. So... Now, as an adult, you can't even hardly tell that he's a pie at all. No, he just looks like so, a black-eyed Lucy. Looks like a normal ivory, but um, but he is indeed a OD ivory pied, and uh, now he's a proven breeder. So another really cool thing about him is guess what you get? What do you get? All yellow belly. <laughs> oh, nice. So all of his babies that he ever produces are all yellow belly. So you can take yellow belly out of the equation when you're figuring stuff because all your babies are going to be that. And uh, another thing you can take out is everything is going to be at least hip pot. So no matter what you pair this guy to, you have two for sure. Everything's yellow belly and everything's going to be at least hip pot. So you're for sure to get a yellow belly hip pot. For sure. So anyway, uh, I'm going to put him back up and I'll show you this clutch. Alright, so just as Craig mentioned, you're guaranteed to get a yellow belly hip pod. So that's what this girl is. Great looking yellow belly, I might add. And then uh, she's 100% hip pod. So that's your base level or your entry level, whatever. Uh, whatever we're calling it today. Whatever you want to call it. So one gene up in that is going to be the pastel yellow belly. So this is pastel yellow belly, 100% hip pod um, female. So this could be OD. I don't particularly see it here, but I'm horrible at uh, ID with pastel and OD. So we're just going to call it as a pastel yellow belly and um, maybe OD, but I'm not listening to it as such. I'll go ahead and show you one of my favorite animals in this clutch. It's stepping it up another notch with the calico. Mm. So this is pastel yellow belly calico 100% head pod um, also a girl and she looks phenomenal so one disadvantage with calico is yellow belly and fire it does not always show a real high white with calico 
when you're using fire in yellow belly and a lot of people don't know that so just keep that in uh, consideration when you're working with calico you're not going to get those really high watts like you see on a lot of other stuff so, and I knew that even making this pairing so again everything is going to be yellow belly so but really beautiful girl I mean you can really tell that calico is there even though it's not you know a lot of white so also keep in mind as your calico snakes get older the body gets older so the more white you see in the animal because it's getting bigger so all of this is there a is going to be pro tip for Tony y'all yep pro tips for Tony so all right and there was one more girl in this clutch this is going to be the OD yellow belly 100% head pot mm -hmm. so I made a bunch of these in in the past and this is a really good example of one too so so that was an OD yellow belly head pot yep very nice so you you have a yellow belly, pastel yellow belly, OD yellow belly, pastel yellow belly with the calico. All, all four of these are girls and all four are percent hip hot. So let's check out the dudes. And these are really, really interesting because they are really different looking, yet they are the same genetics. What are they, Greg? Can't see that far away. I have to be further, <laughs> I have to be further away from the camera now. So we know they're yellow bellies yeah. at least. And hip hot and hip pods, but they also have calico. So these are yellow belly calico, 100% hip pod males. So you can really see the hip pod influence in these two. Oh, look at the bottom, look at the bellies on yep. the things. So, and then this one, this one has a really cool ringer. Started right here. I mean, it's real peachy looking. Yep. What's making them peachy looking? Uh, it's just going to be the, the variance in it, but mm -hmm. I'm assuming that the hip pod is blowing out the back of these tails like this. So overall, this one's probably got more of an orange tail, but this one's got way cool ringer. Yeah. As this ages right here, this is going to look really cool as an adult. So Remember what I was telling you about the yellow belly kind of eating calico, so you don't see mm -hmm. a lot of white in these, but uh, but it is it is calico. So really cool so both these guys will be available as well so everybody ready to see my whole back yeah oh yeah should we show it to them nah okay we'll, we'll wait. all right all right so this is going to be my whole back from the clutch got any idea got any guesses i'm taking my, my face away from camera um that is going to be a yellow belly orange dream Pastel because of the thing on my jig on his head. Calico because I can see the white on the bottom. Hat pad. Uh, close. All right, what I miss? <laughs> it's not pastel. It's not so the it's so no pastel. What's causing the? That is going to be the interaction between the OD and calico, giving it a really light colored head like. Really? That. Yep. So I was getting good. Yep. Almost had it. Almost had it, y'all. So, but either way, this so this is OD yellow belly calico, no pastel, 100% head pod boy. So that's all the genes we want. Yep. Minus the pastel. Minus the pastel. So that's pretty good. And 100% head pod. Yep. Look at look at the pod influence. You see the white creeping up right mm -hmm. there. So I mean that that's the pod bringing that up like that. Crazy, I love how the pattern, crazy, crazy, how the pattern is. On the yeah, it just floats across. Yeah. Pattern just floats across the edge of the belly like that. So, if I wasn't a hundred percent sure that the girl wasn't a hundred percent hit pod, uh, this guy almost looks like a low white pod. Mm -hmm. I've made some OD yellow belly visual pods that look very similar to this, but the uh, the calico and the hit really really amp that od yellow belly up so we pull back out the od yellow belly look how much influence that calico has brought to the animal that's just wild yep just by changing one little thing to it so really 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 unique i can't wait to see the od yellow belly calico pod version so i'm really happy i made a male um if y'all haven't been paying attention i've been keeping a lot of males this year there's a reason why but i can't wait put this guy to just a simple pod female man they could get some really 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 cool offspring from it so 
anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, so there's four girls and these two boys are available or are available at this time. So if there's something you're interested in, let me know. These uh, these boys right here are just mind blowing. Great looking OD yellow belly and this dude I'm really happy to really happy to have made him and, and he'll have a he'll have a home here. Mm -hmm. So Alright, appreciate everybody watching. We will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe. Bye.